New at 6, a surprise homecoming just in time for Memorial Day. WTOC's Linda Figueredo is joining us from Effingham County, where a member of the Georgia Air National Guard's 117th Air Control Squadron surprised his daughters on their last day of school. It took weeks of planning and a lot of secrecy, but the Horton family says it was worth it as their three daughters were individually surprised by their father today. Please give a warm welcome to Master Sergeant Horton or On the last day of school at Effingham Middle School, Megan Horton thought she was just about to watch the talent show, but it kicked off with a huge surprise. Her dad, Master Sergeant Ray Horton, came home just in time for the last day of school after a six-month deployment. I love you. It, it, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, being gone for six months, missing Christmas and New Year's and, and birthdays that happened, and just being away for six months, this is... This is a homecoming that you dream of. When Master Sergeant Horton saw his baby girl running his way, emotion overwhelmed him. Brought tears to my eyes. I can't lie. Um, this is my baby daughter. So. And the tears wouldn't stop there. Soon after, he arrived at the Effingham County High School to surprise his other daughters. But his eldest, Hannah, found him first. <laughs> Can you just see me walk by? Yeah. Then the family went to find the middle child, Emily. He was in such shock, she couldn't even hug her father at first. It was your heart with joy to, to see the happiness that, that you get to see coming home after a long deployment like this. Um, just uh, being able to see their reaction and, and knowing how much they miss me and I miss them during this time, it's, uh, it's just heart filling. Priceless. Just priceless. Made it all worth it. It wasn't easy for their mother, Martha, to keep the whole surprise a secret. Rough. I've had to <laughs> tell fibs to my kids. <laughs> I told them that he was not coming home for another week. The Horton family plans on spending this Memorial Day together, enjoying their father's homecoming and spending much needed time together on a family vacation. Live in Effingham County, Linda Figueredo, WTOC News. We have some breaking news. Look at you guys. Hi. You want to roll her over so she doesn't get mad in her? Roll her over so she doesn't get mad. Which one? Oh, Olivia. Oh. Who's getting mad? Anna's like, I'm rolling over too. <laughs> Two babies. Just call me Angel in the morning. Babe. Close the door.
It yeah. was hard. I know. That. I missed him. <laughs> <laughs> How is it now? The best day of my life. <laughs> I was there for four and a half months, and then uh, and then I was working in Bahrain for another four and a half months. I was doing uh, civil affairs uh, over in uh, Helmand Province, Afghanistan, and then uh, I moved to uh, Bahrain to uh, be a civil affairs planner there as well. It's been tough. It's been a long year. But like he said, we've had a lot of support from family and friends, and they've kept Still us laugh. smiling and laughing, and Food? we just laughed the entire way through. My wife is more the hero than I am. I mean, she's, she's done so much while I was away. I, I, I just left and did one job and left her with all the rest. So uh, she's the hero in my book. It's a story that's sure to put a smile on your face. A little boy gets a big surprise. Nicole Grigg reports on the day an Oakwood family will never forget. Air Force Major Dave Pritchard has seen a lot of devastation the past year while serving in Afghanistan. But today is a day of joy and one he's been waiting for for a long time. It takes his 11-year-old son, Shane, a few seconds to even realize. <laughs> An embrace both father and son never want to end. Man, I miss you. A lot sure changes in a year. You are so tall. Especially baby Claire, now six months old. She thought that her dad lives in the computer. In Afghanistan, Major Pritchard helped make routes safe for soldiers on the ground. He's now back safe on American soil. Being gone from uh, the United States, really teaches you how awesome this country is and um, you know what great lengths that some people will do to uh, to defend it. His wife Sarah and friends at the Kettering YMCA planned this special surprise just for Shane. You got good swimming flippers. Shane has spent a lot of time in this pool while his father was away. He can't wait to tell dad what he's missed. Best race these days. The 50 backstroke. 50 backstroke. I've been pretty tough, but I'm proud of him for doing it. Shane has always kept his dad close to his heart, but now he's even closer, and for these few seconds, it's just father and son. Nicole Gregg, Fox 45 News. You might hurt me. Oh, Sucky. Oh, my God! Oh, my God!
are you crying like me? <laughs> Sometimes Addison and I get those same happy tears. Lexi, are you surprised? Who's coming to do centers with us today? <laughs> wow, good thing you're in read to someone because she's going to be shocked at how you're reading now, right? <laughs> Yeah. 
Friday. This will be on YouTube. Bye guys. Have a great day. Everybody's doing good today? Yes. We have a surprise.